In this video, we will learn how to create a motion graphics food ad using Canva. So let's begin. First, create your design structure. Click on Create a Design. Search for Video and choose the Facebook video format. Change the background. Click on the Elements tab and add a line. Now border your canvas with these lines. Add an extra line to make a footer and change its color to dark. Go to Elements and add a square shape. Adjust its size and position to make a right sidebar. Add a circle and place it in the middle of the sidebar. Go to Elements, search for Vintage Border, and add a border element. Here we will crop it and place it at the top. Making it the same dark color. Now add another vintage border Crop it Adjust its size and position Duplicate it, invert the border, and adjust its position After this, duplicate the page. Go to Elements, search for Call, add an element, adjust its size, and place it in the bottom right corner. Next, add a web element, and place it also at the bottom. Add text, enter your phone number, and adjust it. Here, we will mostly use Poppin's font throughout the design. Place it also at the bottom, and choose the font size. Now, make both elements the same size in pixels. In the same way, add your web address.
Now, add a heading and type your food name. Next, add food description text. Now we will create a food logo, but you can use your own. Place it in the top right corner. After this, add the food cost. And place it in the bottom right corner. Now, duplicate this page and change all the food details. Here we will use the opposite color style of the first design. We will make the background a dark color and all elements light colors. Again, duplicate the page and follow the same rule for the third page. Our design structure is ready. Let's animate the design. First, add your food plates. Here we will use images from the Canva library. Make all plate sizes the same. Select all photos and reduce their size. Now arrange your plates in vertical order, keeping a gap between the images. Go to Elements, add a straight line, place it vertically as well. Change its color to the same dark color. Select all these, go to position and apply tidy up to space them evenly. Now, group them and place them in the top right corner like us. Select the square and apply the wipe animation, changing the direction and adjust its timing. Select the circle element and apply the baseline animation, changing the direction from right to left. After this, select both elements, click on More, then Show Timing, and adjust their timing to create sequential animation. Next, select the group of food images, copy it, and paste it onto the next page. Now, increase its size and place the first food plate in the circle.
select the plate and apply the rotate motion effect. Select both food headings and apply the burst animation effect. Select the food details text and apply the typewriter animation effect. Select both call and web elements and apply the pop animation effect. Select their text and apply the typewriter animation effect. Apply the pan animation effect to the logo, changing the direction from right to left. Do the same for the price. Similarly, copy and paste the food group, place the second plate in the circle, apply the rotate motion effect to the plate, and apply the same animation effect to all elements. From this page, we will not apply animation effects to the logo and footer elements. Do the same for the next page. After this, click on Add Transition, select the Match and Move Transition, set the time duration to one second, and apply it to all pages. Next, select all elements, click on More, then Show Timing, and adjust the timing of all elements to create sequential animation. Do the same for all pages. After this change, the first page timing to 4 seconds, second page to 7 seconds, third and fourth page to 5 seconds. Your motion ad is ready. Let's see the result.
Thank you for joining me in this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments, and I'll see you in the next video.